Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite weirdo, Melly. And we're here with an Ami Ami haul. Like, this is the biggest box from Ami Ami I've ever gotten. And I am worried that my orders are just getting bigger and bigger. I honestly don't have space for myself, but I'm, well, I'm actually getting more space, but that's regardless. My other problem is that I could get what I get because normally there is a package for my store and there's a package for my own stuff and I forget which drinking has which so here we go now I do have the slip but I'm not going to see what it has it's a surprise for myself now ooh, we got again the kimono sakura ami ami chan very very cute I don't know. Let me scoop a little bit. We got paper and paper. Oh, wait, that's a lot of paper for this. It's more paper than the box, actually. Like, that was a lot. I think that they did that so we can fit it. So, we got some straps here. Obviously, I got another Love and Game reel because this one, I want to add this one to my Eta bag. Now, I do have one, but I just wanted to add one Love and Game. That's one of my favorite songs where he is and one of my favorite costumes of him. So, yeah. So, we got, ooh. So, yeah, we got Ryunosuke's necklace. Obviously, like always, I got two. One to actually wear and one to, um... Uh, just have around so probably when I go to Supercon I'm gonna be wearing this necklace then oh we got the embroider sticker so I'm doing a jacket a jean jacket with a lot of um, um, this type of things I have one from the NASA I have one from the Taylor Swift concert things like that so I'm adding little bits of things and I thought that the little bunny from Sailor Moon was adorable and of course we got some baby Kasue right over here now she got best cute girl for central elections. She's the top four, meaning that she has has the qualifications to get a voice. I am very, very happy my baby is getting a voice and I had to celebrate with something. Now we got Ruby. So this is the movie Ruby. I think the costume in Ruby is adorable. And of course I had to get her. Um, yeah, somebody Ruby. This year I might not cosplay Ruby, but next year I will probably get a Ruby costume. Ooh, what is this? Made in China. I do not understand what this is. I think these are the tags, but this is my um, movie costume Ruby. Again, very, very cute. Got the twin tails. It's one of my favorite costumes, so I'm glad I was able to get this little maybe. Um, now all of this ones I'm going to go on a shelf, and I'm gonna make this like a sitting bench for other stuff. But this baby is gonna. It's one of those ones that are gonna stay down here. Oh, it's very interesting. No, she's very very cute. I'm very very glad that she's here. Probably she's gonna go to Supercon with me. We'll see. But so far she's gonna. She's gonna just. Let me just put her right on here. Then we have... Oh! So, I have my friend Moongatsu420, which we're going to go to Supercon with him. We're going to meet at Supercon. And I got him Ichigo Kurosaki Nendroid. Now, he is a super rich flan. And I know he loves Ichigo. So, I got him this. And he got... Oh, he has con. That is so cool. So, I got Ichigo for him. Um, he's going to make a video out of it. Whenever that video is up, I'm gonna link it down below if anything. And yeah, so that's this Android. I'm not gonna open it because again, it's for him to unbox it. What else? Oh, this is what makes me happy. So, y'all remember how I did the birthday Koto uh, Ruby figure and I was able to get the clear file? I got the Kotori birthday figure. Ooh, doo -doo. There we go, Kotori's birthday figure. And I am so happy because I was also able to get the clear file out of this. Now, um, this were exclusive for the pre-order, so the fact that I was able to get it makes me very happy. So I got both of my best girls. Very happy, makes me very happy. 
because I got again I got both of my best girls folders and I got the little card now let me see what the little card now I use this for personal stuff but I always enjoy this so many protection not for sale again it's one of those things that if you didn't get the pre-order card but I was able to get the resale um Ami Ami was having somebody resell it and I snapped it for a very good deal. So yeah, here we go. This is birthday card for Ruby Kotori. It's interesting. I have rubies, but it's very different than rubies. But again, I love it regardless. Best girl always. Um, I'm really bad at opening this thing, so I almost like damaged it. But that's okay. And this is the file folder I wish I had one so obviously and, the, and on the back it has her birthday with all the letters just like the box I have like three copies of this SSR by the way so I really like this card and here she is now let me center myself because this is so I think that they chose I don't know why they chose this big box if that's not that much of a big haul like I've had bigger hauls I just chose the big box just to be bothersome. They just chose the big box to be bothersome. Again, it's open so it doesn't have the sticker. Um, it has been open. It says that the quality of the figure was like cream. So I'm really excited because that's the whole figure. So right now I'm just going to be missing the Snow Queen figure. Oh my god! <gasps> Oh, I love the stage. The stage is different than um, a course. A course is just the light sticks. This is the love light stage. Um, this is where they did the final line in the in the anime, not the movie one. So, uh, I'm nerding really badly. Again, it's one of those secrets that would have been amazing if they uh, did it. Oh, oh, this is she's tiny. Do I have space with both? Let me see. So obviously she doesn't come with any plastic protector. It's interesting besides the, the outside, but she is gorgeous. But to, okay, she has white panty. But they added like this little supposed to be like chiffon and plasticky, like very, really, very really shiny. Her gloves and everything. And let's add her to the base. There's no damage to any of it. She is in one leg, which is not a crazy lover of things being just one leg. And the reason is because they tend to tilt. Now, uh, hers is different because um, in Kotori, I'm sorry, in Ruby, this part, this top part, again, gets separate from this part. But this one does not seem like it can do. So there's that difference. Again, it's attached in one, one leg only. I'm not a huge fan of figures just standing in one leg, but it's best girl. It's best girl. Best girl. Like I'm very very happy. There's a lot of shading in weird areas. For example, like um right here in the back of the leg, there's like a huge strap. I mean I think it's the shading for this one. It's just to add extra detail and volume. I love how the hair is colored. Girl, I love you, but your hair is horrible to style. I have her wing and I'm suffering with it. Uh yeah. Overall it's beautiful. She has super big smile, uh golden cross. Everything is so nice and detailed. Again, the only thing that I don't like about this figure is is that they wiggle a lot when they're in just one leg and that they become um what is the word they tilt so because there's so much weight here eventually she's gonna be and there's no way to stop that except from getting like a um one of those sigma or sh figure arts type of um, arm and hold her like that but besides that there's nothing else like i can do to prevent that but that's okay so here she is oh oh i just noticed her high thigh high socks they do have like little which is nice detail that makes her feel really realistic her skin is very very soft again her hair is colored amazing she has little itsy bitsy blush that's adorable now let me add her to where she's going to be displayed and i understand this is a little dark but i'm trying to change this bookshelf uh, but in the meantime this is where she's going to be displayed again she's at the same height as ruby 
heavy base wise and she's slightly taller which makes sense but again it's a very small figure I don't think it's um to scale you can compare her with this one there's like um this one is oh, I forgot the the song but I know this is a uh crane figure and this is a price figure this is not a scale figure and this one's much bigger than this one and same with this one um but again I love it they're both displayed at the back they're perfect for displaying on the back of oh, now <laughs> I do need another ruby figure but I don't think I found one that it's beautiful as the birthday figure uh from the scale figures there is the one from the single that it's coming out but I'm not completely in love with it but there's that and there is my Kotori figure now uh I do love this one I want to see if I can get the snow queen figure someday and then I'm gonna get the angel figure and then I'm gonna be happy with my Kotori figure um just a little back this is my lovely shrine so I have my favorite green uh figure got a lot of Kotori got some ruby I wish to have more tiny ruby uh around but that would come a time and I'm very very happy I am so glad I got her and I, I cannot wait to give her a more bigger proper space to be played at but so far I love it I adore it I am so happy I was able to get it I was so happy that I'm able to get the the folder I'm really excited about this thing I want to mention is the clear file folder as you see um the size is for a4 paper reviews I'm using a lot of different stuff on it um but still it's Adore, but still is one of my favorite things uh, uh i'm very happy the illustration everything is beautiful and this is the card this is where i see the difference with the card um kotori literally says for you while ruby is just dots and his and her symbol um uh, but in the inside they do both have a message ruby uh, kotori is in the exact same pose and ruby as well but how they're displayed is very different now um size wise they are identical but ruby's feels bigger because of the uh, the little outline here are the the I forgot the name of these things from Ruby. I like Kotori's better because it comes with her signature, which is something I really really like. But I wish they would have done the image of Kotori in this Shibi version bigger. Um, again, there's that's those are some of the difference. Uh, just from Kotori specifically, Ruby does not say that. Again, um, I wish to read Japanese. I'm learning, and it's interesting that this one says not for sale. Oh, and this one also says not for sale. But it's interesting interesting to point the difference it's supposed to be the same type of figure for both of them but there are some differences clear file wise they're very similar um though um muse has more of a simplistic cubism type of sparkles all around uh of course has more of a dot the but overall the letters are very similar beautiful i love them and i'm very very happy that i was able to get this now if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up it helps me it tells me if you guys like it and it tells me if if i should be doing more videos like this one and don't forget to watch all of my other videos i'm trying to start uploading more frequently i reorganized my bedroom i'm buying some stuff and probably going to be making a bedroom tour sometime soon but besides that thank you so much for watching and i'll see y'all next time bye